हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू नाइंटी प्लस वर्चुअल लैब बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द सेशन आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क यू अ क्वेश्चन एंड दैट इज इज इट पॉसिबल टू प्रोवाइड अ कंटिन्यूस सप्लाई ऑफ वाटर टू द प्लांट्स फॉर यूटिलाइजेशन ऑल द टाइम द आंसर इज नो सो वॉट इज द सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस फॉर दिस द प्लांट हैज टू एब्जॉर्ब द वॉटर फ्रॉम द सॉइल बाई कैपिलर रिएक्शन and store the water that they require to perform various function but the most important factor here is that different types of soil hold different amount of water in it so obviously the amount of water a plant can uptake will depend on the water holding capacity of the soil in which it is planted yes and different plants are specific to specific type of soils too so to know more about this today we will perform our new experiment and that is to detect water holding capacity of different soils now let's see what are the requirements of this experiment we need garden soil roadside soil measuring cylinder funnels spatula watch glasses weighing balance we also require beakers filter papers and oven now we have all the requirements needed for this experiment ready so let's start the experiment for this experiment we have selected two different types of soil and that is garden soil and roadside soil these two soil samples need to be dried first and for that we have kept our oven ready here now we have to weigh 20 grams of each of this soil and for that we need weighing balance now the garden soil and the root soil soil are kept in the oven for some time to get it dry so both the soils are dried now first we will keep watch glass to the weighing balance and then tear it by using spatula we will add garden soil to the watch glass until it reaches up to 20 grams likewise for weighing root side soil we will take another watch glass and then tear it by using another spatula we will transfer the root side soil to the watch glass until it reaches 20 grams so now we have both the soils with us which are already dried now we will take a measuring cylinder and then put a funnel over it now after that we will fold a filter paper in the shape of the funnel and then place it over the measuring cylinder again we will take another measuring cylinder and put a funnel over it and then again we will take a new filter paper fold it and place it over the funnel so now we have to transfer both the soils to these measuring cylinders so to these measuring cylinders we are going to transfer the soil sample now first take the garden soil and transfer it to the first funnel then take the root side soil and transfer it to the second funnel now what we have to do is we have to add distilled water to this for that we have taken two separate beakers here These two beakers contain 20 ml of distilled water in each. Now, take the first beaker and transfer the 20 ml of water to the first funnel. Then, take the second beaker and transfer the 20 ml of water to the second funnel with measuring cylinder. So, the volume of water filtered from the soil sample is considered to be the water holding capacity of the soil. The water is filtered from both the measuring cylinders. Now let's have a look at the major observation of this experiment. We have a table given here. In the first column it is given as soil types. There are two types of soil, garden soil and roadside soil. The next one is weight of the soil which is denoted by x. The weight of the soil is 20 g per each. The next one is volume of water poured into it which is denoted by y. the volume of water poured is 20 ml for each the next one is volume of water collected in the measuring cylinder which is denoted by z so for the garden soil the value of volume of water collected in the measuring cylinder will be 12 ml 
Now the next one is volume of water retained by the soil which will be calculated by the formula Y minus Z and the value that we will get here is 8 ml. Now the last one is water holding capacity of the soil. So in order to calculate the water holding capacity of the soil we will use a formula here and the formula is Y minus Z by X into 100. Now putting the values in this formula we will get 8 by 20 into 100 that is equal to 40 percent. The water holding capacity is mostly calculated in percentage. Now let's look at the values of roadside soil. The weight of the soil is 20 grams. The volume of water poured into it is 20 ml. The volume of water collected by the measuring cylinder is 15 ml. The volume of water which is retained by the soil is calculated by the formula Y minus Z will come to be as 5 ml. Now putting all these values for water holding capacity formula. The formula is Y minus Z by X into 100. We will get 5 by 20 into 100 and finally we will get the result as 25%. So the conclusion of this experiment is the garden soil has higher water holding capacity than the roadside soil because the roadside soil contains sand and silt in it. So from this experiment we have learned how to detect the water holding capacity of different types of soils.